How's it going guys? Purple Grizzly here and I want to welcome you to the very first episode of my new ongoing series Battlefield for Noobs. Battlefield is one of the best first person shooters of all time and it's often frowned upon and set aside by Activision's giant franchise called Call of Duty. If you talk to your fellow gamers and you talk to just people in your everyday life and you ask them, hey, have you heard of Call of Duty? Most likely they're going to say yes, but if you ask them, hey, have you heard of Battlefield? Uh, not so much, and that is a very sad thing, because Battlefield is such, such an underrated game when it's compared to Call of Duty. Um, in, in very many ways this game surpasses Call of Duty. And my goal for this series is to help all the fellow Call of Duty noobs find a love for this game and actually get to experience it. So the first episode is going to be covering Rush. And if you're unfamiliar with Rush, um, it is pretty much the same thing as Demolition uh, from, from Call of Duty, but it's at a very, very much bigger scale. Like Demolition, there are two teams. One team is defense, which your whole goal is to defend the, your two comm station against the attackers. And then there's offense, which I'm currently playing the role of, and it is my objective and my team's objective to destroy these two comm stations by arming it and uh, causing it to explode. There are other efficient ways, such as destroying the building, and having it collapse on top of the comm station, which is what I do in this game, and it's a very effective, very effective tactic. And uh, you're able to do it by disabling the main uh, structures of the building, like the lower corners, and uh, pretty much having the whole building collapse on itself. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as you get the job done. This is where things get a little different from Call of Duty. Once both comm stations are destroyed, it moves down the map to two more comm stations that you have to destroy. So the defending team will probably fall back about a half a mile down the map and have to defend two more comm stations and it's your objective to push down even further and destroy those as well. So the maps in Battlefield are pretty pretty darn big. They can get up to two miles in length I'd say. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it but it's it's definitely uh, it's a big environment to play in and it's always awesome like that because pretty much I mean with constantly moving up and down the map and it's at such a large environment you're never gonna get bored with it I mean it's like you're playing on a new map every game and I mean with the destruction factor in battlefield you can destroy buildings shoot down trees fences whatever and it always create a new environment for you to play in so it's almost a different engagement every single time now let's cover the different tactics that you can use to destroy each comm station efficiently. It will depend upon the game type that you're playing. If you're playing regular or hardcore. Personally, I prefer hardcore because it adds the extra realistic factor of very little amounts of health. So as you can see right here, I'm moving at a very slow pace, but at the same time I'm flanking the enemy on their left side. With such a big environment at your disposal, you shouldn't have such a hard time flanking the enemy. But there are certain ways that you're going to want to do this. The first way is to do it cautiously. And always remember, whether you're flanking on the right side or the left side, or even through buildings near the middle, what you want to do is you want to position yourself where you have an advantage if you have to engage the enemy team. Use cover as much as you can, especially if you're playing the hardcore game type, because you will not regenerate health. So, let's cover another tactic to destroying these comm stations. You want to use your environment to your disposal. Most of the time, these comm stations will be located inside of a building. Sometimes they won't. But when they are, most, most of the time people will sneak into the building, arm it, and post up in a corner waiting for the enemy to walk in through the doorway attempting to defuse the the bomb there is a much easier way to destroy this comm station 
that is to disable the whole entire building that is located in. You can do this by placing RPGs, grenades, or grenade launcher shots at the internal structures of the building such as the corners and pretty much the main foundations where the building is being held up from. So once the building is destroyed, the comm station will will be wiped out completely, no questions asked. So another efficient way to destroy a comm station is rushing, hence the name of the game type. This is what most people do, and most of the time it does not work. What you want to do if you're going to rush the objective at a fast pace is you want to set up your squad mates and your teammates at locations they can push back the enemy team in their spawn while you could rush the objective. As you see here, I rush it, but I don't run in there blindly and just try and arm the thing. I go in there, I want to clear out the enemies first and then arm it and then hold a good defense. These are some of the efficient tactics that you can use to destroy each comm station and ultimately win the match. Another thing I would like to do with this video series is to get more people playing Battlefield and getting people ready for one of the most anticipated games of 2011, Battlefield 3. Hopefully this series can get you guys a little more experienced with the game and help you take one step closer away from being a Battlefield noob and one step closer to becoming a Battlefield expert. If you guys have not tried this game out yet, I would highly suggest renting it or even buying it and playing this epicness of a game. As always guys, I'm Purple Grizzly and stay tuned for the next episode of Battlefield for Noobs.